Kieran's quick tips for base light. Customizing your layers is a really simple but effective way to add some extra organization to your base light stack. I find it helps me focus on what I'm trying to achieve with that layer, whether it's an initial balance, secondaries, creating looks and lens effects, each layer in my stack has a purpose and it stops me from being messy in the timeline or getting distracted. To show how I customize layers, I'm gonna build a template for a balance grade. So to start off, we insert a fresh layer. We do that by pressing P. And then from there, I like to name and also color my layers. I find there's nothing more confusing than having a really intricate grade, but you haven't labeled any of the layers and you have to sift through towers of green just to find where you've put what. So to name the layer, we go up to this name tab. I'm gonna call it balance. And to color the layers, you go to this color tab here. If you right click, you actually get a bunch of preset options. I'm gonna stick with the Macbeth chart and I'm gonna make it teal. From there, we go to our operators. And what we wanna do here is remove or replace anything we wouldn't consider a part of the balance grade. So starting off with video grade, I'm gonna right click and a menu opens up. I'm gonna to go to change operator type and I'm gonna switch it out with color temperature. I'm also gonna do that on the other side. And then for curve grade and X grade, we wanna remove them entirely. So again, right click and go remove operator. Now you can make this even neater by removing these rows. You do that by right clicking again and going remove empty row. Now you have a really thought out and customized layer ready to save to your gallery and apply to your grades.